Our President Joe Biden has condemned the attack on Rushdie, calling him courageous and resilient. Meantime, the president is also speaking out about the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. He says the American people won and special interests lost. The American people are going to see lower prescription drug prices, lower health care costs, and lower energy costs. President Joe Biden plans to sign the Inflation Reduction Act this week. It will come in the midst of his vacation, where his public appearances have been limited to a bike ride and a trip to Mass. Also on vacation, Vice President Kamala Harris. She, too, praised the Democrats' big spending bill during a stop in California on her way to Hawaii. It's also going to be an investment in infrastructure. It's going to be an investment in jobs, all of the work that needs to happen to allow us to be resilient. The White House says it's making plans to promote the climate, tax and health bill by sending cabinet secretaries to nearly two dozen states over the next two weeks. The president also plans to hold a big event after Labor Day, touting the bill that Republicans rejected as a, quote, disastrous big government socialism bill that will exacerbate the recession and increase inflation.